Hi guys, welcome. Yes, our chicks are here. Can you believe it? <laughs> guys, we I had plans to pick up Egg Father so we can go get the brooding room ready. And while I was in Tantra to pick up Egg Father, um, they called and said the chicks are there in the station. So we had to go by and pick them up. We were not ready. Our brooding room was not ready. But to be fair, um, it was the time. We like it's exactly the day i wanted it so the chicks are there egg father is there egg father is so amazing he's been helping me he's just amazing thank him for me if you ever meet him okay so here he is he's making sure the chicks are okay they came from ivory coast okay and they came in the public transport nothing fancy okay so here it is my first time trying it like i said in the previous video so he's making sure they're all healthy and moving yes and then after that we had to like scour and find our glucose and find our multivitamins combined and also buy our feed okay all in the same day head to the farm and start the brooding room that's what we're going there to do and unfortunately, we had to go there with the chicks, okay? But hey, good timing, I guess. <laughs> Yes, guys, Egg Father was not playing. We had to pick 10 boxes. He checked every single one of them. Egg Father is the name of his business. His name is Ahamen, okay? But I've been calling him Egg Father, so it just rolls off my tongue. So forgive me. He checked every single um, boxes. And then the guy that we ordered the chicks from was like, you're going to help me? You have to help me sell mine. He's like, I didn't take much. I only took 150 but my madam, me, took a lot. So he's going to help me sell my broilers. Thank you, Egg Father. Guys, aren't they cute? Are you tired of looking at them yet? Should I fast forward it or you want to hear them chirping? And <laughs> they're so cute. They're so fluffy, but very, like, very delicate. Like, you have to be very careful. They die easily. They get sick easily. So we got to hurry and take them to their brooding room so they, they can get some heat. So we went to the farm and Egg Father saw the brooding room and he said it's too high up in the ceiling and we need to bring it where the ceiling is low so the chicks can get more heat 
And of course, my electrician wasn't there. So Egg Father decided to move it himself. I said, you get to do this? He's like, yeah, you know, I, I had to learn to do this. Because when you call electricians and plumbers, sometimes they waste your time. So that's the thing. So he had to learn to do his own electrical stuff for his farm. And yeah, and I said, if my husband was here, he would be doing it too. So thank you, Egg Father. And so he's hooking up the electricals and then we're getting ready to start the brooding um, separate a little section of the brooding because this is a huge room we can't let them roam all around so we have to section a little part so we can brood the chicks there um, for about 10 days to 2 weeks so at the moment i have one worker guy this guy kwame and two ladies who are my sisters i hired another lady but the lady <laughs> even before i hired her i gave her money to start a business because she was in an abusive relationship. I hired her. This lady quit the job without even giving me notice. Can you believe it? Someone that I was so good to. But anyways, I was just telling the guys to learn because the next time we have new chicks, they're going to be doing brooding from, from start to finish. So that's why Egg Father is there to train them so next time they can do it. Okay. And yes, I have like two other guys there helping me. They want a job. And now I'm so scared to hire anybody from the village because of what I've been going through, you know. So, But these are young guys, and they were just literally there helping me, you know. So I'm grateful for that. And I said, okay, we're going to need more workers. So I'm going to give them a chance. They're young guys. They're out of school. They're just roaming around. I want to give them a chance. Yes, I helped a single mother who was in an abusive relationship I, I, I was helping her even before I hired her. I hired her. She quit on me without even telling me. And it hurts. But you know what? I gotta go do what I gotta do. I need to help these guys out. I just need to be more careful next time. Yes, so brooding is almost ready. The chicks are sitting there, as you can hear. They're chirping away. So now we've put the black bag on a little section that we partition with blocks and board and um you know the black bag so it's gonna be nice and you know nice and hot in that little section and working for two weeks eh? okay so one bag per week basically on the well 10 days 10 days okay Yeah, we're getting their magic feeds ready. They're going to be on this for 10 days. Okay, one bag was 260 Ghana cities. When Egg Father bought his, a week before I bought mine was 245. A week later, it was 260. Okay, so that's how fast they increased things in Ghana. But hey, regardless, business must go on. So we're getting the brooding room ready. My sisters are counting every single piece and I'm there watching. I learned my lesson from last time. We got 10, 10 boxes, 50 in each. And we ended up getting 504, exactly. And Egg Father said, if we didn't pick it up from the station and it went to the guy's farm, he would have picked the extras out before you. <laughs> you get the box but you know that's africans they don't do anything for free but when i order from foreign um belgium or whatever i have like one in each box one free chick in each box okay but africans i don't know but hey we're gonna support our own right <laughs> Super. The 
active mo. Hindi ka pa ano mo tumigil. So everything looks good for the first day. They got glucose and then we start combined the next day, day two. Okay, so they're going to be on that for six days. And then on the seventh day, they get their first vaccination, Goombor, okay? And because I don't have enough, I have to go to the vet when they dispense it every Tuesday. And luckily, they came on a Tuesday, so it's exactly a week. So next Tuesday, I'll be at the vet to get the amount they need of their first vaccination, okay? So, so far, so good. They're very active. We didn't have any dead in the boxes, although they sat there for a long time where we got the brooding room ready. Everything is good. Heating is good. And then... Yes, at night time, we're going to light some charcoal to um, for heat. And as usual, I start fighting with my chicks from day one, okay? They're pecking already, okay? Can you believe it? Eat the food and start pecking. Why are you pecking me? What did I do? Why are you pecking me? It's your first day and you're being naughty already. Mm -hmm. The good thing is when you buy the drinkers for the day or chicks and you take care of it, you don't have to buy for a long time. These are from the first batch. We bought a lot. We have a lot. So we always have these little drinkers and feeders for them. And we, after we were done using it, we pack it or we store it for the next time. Okay. So cost is going down as you move up in business. Okay. Initially, we had to buy everything and it adds up. And then we'll also put in those sacks in the corner like we did the first time to prevent them from piling up in the corner and stamping on each other and dying. So, so far, so good. Kuni Bajo, let me see you. Go, lo, 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 lo. Go, lo, lo, lo. Booga. I'm boogering, guys. <laughs> Allow me to dance, okay? Your girl is happy. It's been a lot of work. But hey, every little improvement is for you to celebrate. So let me booga all the way through booting, okay? Last time it was hell. I'm hoping this time it won't be so bad. So because I have experience and I... Ugh, wish me luck, guys. Yes, those are the sacks going in the corner. So guys, it was a happy day. It was a hectic day. We got it done. During the day while we were there, we had ant problem. We decided to paint the walls with um, dirty oil, as you can see. And then we went home. And then around 6, my sisters called me and said, the ants are trying to get in the coop. I was home. Like, I, I went home. I had to scour, find um, the chemical dust bun to come spray, get dirty oil at night i was driving through the darkness guys if i make it one day and somebody comes and tells me this is money ritual like i will be super pissed okay i went in the dead of night like ghana it gets dark really fast and we went there i went there with the chemicals bought what i needed to do we went and sprayed around the coop because these chicks are a day old if i let the ants get in like as you saw in my other video they kill like big 
chicken so imagine chicks i'll lose all my 504 chicks so i had to go there to get that sorted and while i was there this is how we were giving them heat overnight some simple charcoal nothing fancy to give them um carbon monoxide like the other guy did just charcoal on a blog in a, 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 a pan head pan simple and that was it so this is a look at how it looked in the coop at night they have enough heat it was very hot i was glad i got to see it because um I, i'm not there during the night so we went there and the next day everything was okay um my sister put in more charcoal so we will leave them and not go in there we try not to go in there as much as um possible and these chicks they follow you everywhere so when you're stepping in you have to be very careful or you step on them and kill them so guys that's it right never ending so day one went so well except i had to come back in the night to take care of some issues but hey that's to be expected right i don't want to lose my investment so i gotta do what i gotta do i did that and then we went home i went home for the night okay so thank you so much for watching i appreciate your love and support and as always smile see miracles in life every day okay nothing is ever easy you gotta work hard if you want something different you have to be weird do things that most of your friends are not doing and i promise you at the end of the day it will be worth it okay so yes i do complain but i also do put in the work okay so until next time smile see miracles in life every day thanks for watching and then day two they're going to be on the combine like i said and i'll keep you posted as the brooding process goes on okay so until then peace out and smile bye guys